let me again highlight what is the intent of giving the mocks. What are the intents? Once you understand the intent, then your marks will automatically uh, uh, come on the approach, come on the line. Number one intent, right? To be familiar, to be familiar with the gate exam interface. I told you many students do not have the patience of sitting for three hours. Okay, they don't know that you know after one one and a half hours they start feeling sleepy. They start feeling bored. Man karta hai chale jau, but timer will not stop according to you. Okay, the timer will keep going. You are not able to concentrate, especially because it's a computer based examination. So, so many factors will keep coming. So, you have to be familiar with the gate exam interface. Number one important point. Okay, number two important point is, okay, you may be, you may have given topic wise and subject wise test. You might have scored good also. Scoring in a single subject in case, I, th I don't think it's a big task because individually, you know, the level is not that high, I believe. Okay, but the biggest problem with the gate is the syllabus. 10 to 12 subjects in one single paper. This three hours is going to test 10 to 12 subjects. It is not a one subject examination. So, when you appear in a mock test, you are appearing in 10 to 12 marks, uh, 10 to 12 subjects uh, exam together. If you are scoring low, you will go and analyze ki why you scored low. If you scored low, there may be two or three or four subjects, okay, which determined why you scored low you maybe you scored zero or one or two like very less marks in some subjects this will give you analysis of your weak subjects compared to the other so that you can go and overcome those weakness or you can revise more right like some uh, revision techniques mentioned by mn sir so those revision techniques has to be applied more to the weak subjects but you have to come to know when you're giving the exam of these 10 subjects number three important mind is the time management maybe you're knowing everything Okay, maybe you are knowing everything. Many students say, sir, if it is the exam of 5 hours, I will be a topper. But is it the reality? The reality is gate is going to be 3 hours, exact 180 minutes examination. Exactly at the end of 180 minutes, the timer will stop. Not even one extra second you get. Right. So, don't uh, put up this logic that, sir, if it is the exam of 5 hours, I will be a topper. Hota. No. Right. You have to be topper in this 3 hour examination only. So, when you give several mock tests, you come to know how you have to manage your time, whether... Now listen to a very important point. Some of you might be very good in aptitude. Some of you might be very good in uh, technical. So what you have to attempt first? Technical. See, gate is you have to score out of 100. There is no sectional cutoff. Okay, if you are very good in aptitude, open the aptitude tab first. If you are good in technical, open the technical tab first. In the technical also, what subject you are strong? First maths or first core technical, right? Like mechanical civil, they may feel ki yaar, SOM pada hai. SOM mein zada marks score karenge. You can start attending the questions of SOM. Right now, the questions are jumbled, but still you can, you know, little bit select the questions. Or maybe ECW students are thinking they will score more in network and control. You can start choosing with that. Right. Maybe initially you don't know where you will score full. That is why I am telling you, appear in mocks. If you appear in 3-4 mocks, now you will come to know ki which area is more scoring for you. Achha, whether I should appear in 1 marks or 2 marks first? Okay, some of the students and some of the toppers have chosen the one mark strategy. Some of the toppers have chosen two mark strategy. Listen to all, but make your own strategy. Okay, as a nahi ki last year All India Rank 1 told that he appeared two marks question first, I will apply that. No, you have to give minimum 10-15 marks and then you will come to know what is working more for you. Right, so whether you have to appear in one marks first, two marks first, whether you should appear general aptitude, whether you should appear technical, what you have to appear. That is what you have to manage. And then after making all this strategy, are you able to complete the paper of nine, paper on time? At least whatever you know, there may be three, four, five questions which you don't know at all. No problem. But whatever you know, are you able to cover on time? Let me tell you one more secret. One more. Unless and until the paper is extremely difficult, let me discard that situation. But for a normal gate paper, three hours are not required. Three hours are not required. If you have practiced really good, Around 2 hour 30 minutes or 2 hour 40 minutes max. I also finished my paper in 2 hour 30 minutes. I got All India Rank 9. Last 30 minutes was only for review, reviewing my paper. Okay, koi galti to nahi kar diya. Koi question chhoot to nahi gaya. Right. Koi calculation error to nahi kar diya. Jald bazi mein. It happens because it is a pressure. It is a utter test of pressure. That particular day na exam day. Rather than concept, it is more like your mental pressure test. So you should have last 20, 25, 30 minutes margin to recheck, reevaluate your paper. Something is messed, some calculation error, etc., etc., etc. So that exam, that is very much important. And right, so this time management will come up. And the fourth and very important point is ki the mock test will tell you analysis of the mistakes. What mistakes? Let me quickly tell you. I have told you this earlier also. Right, you have scored low. One was the weak subject area. You have scored low. One possibility is you have attempted 65 questions. You got to know two or three questions out of the concepts you didn't know. Aapko to lag raha tha syllabus ho gaya hai, but after mock you come to know that concept is unknown. Your duty is go refer to that concept study. Now 
Sometimes what happens, you have studied a concept once. Ek bar class attend kiya hai, but you have not done the enough practice. And once you miss out on the practice part, easily you forget the formula. Right? Formula kab bhool te? Jab practice nahi kiya. You have read the formula once, but it is not practice. So you have forgotten at the run time, at the exam time. Right? So you have to practice more. Right? Your practice is also perfect, but... But hurry, hurry, timer, tick tock, one side, you're solving the question, one side, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, that uh, timer is running and because of that, we make the calculation error, right? Our system is perfect now. Third case, concept is clear, formula, my calculation is also clear, clear, but if you give the wrong input to this brain, wrong input will produce wrong output. So sometimes what happens in hurry, hurry, you make the data also known as the reading error. You read the question wrong, everything inside the system, your brain is perfect, but you gave wrong input, you get wrong output. How will you come to know? How will you come to know once you appear in the examination and etc etc ho jati hai choti choti mistake once you go and appear then you come to know ki are aisa ho sakta tha and I'll just suggest one more thing at the last maintain a test series register for two three different things one always note down your mistakes once you note down na ki last time I made a reading error once it is written na ek bar koi cheez likh lete ho when you go to the next mock test it is always hammered in the brain ki oh I made a reading error I have to be very cautious in this examination number two as I told you na there are some concepts which you come to know were unknown to you yeah there is some new techniques you learned please record all those techniques otherwise you will forget